Hey everybody, Dan Sixsmith back at you. Sales is king, tip of the day. How you doing today? So tip of the day is, how do you deal with a loss? How do you deal with um, not getting the deal? Um, there are a number of different steps you need to take, um, and there's also a mindset you need to be in. Um, we all know that we have many deals in our pipeline. We don't always get every single deal. Um, there are going to be deals that we do not get for a number of different reasons. Um, could be our fault, could be completely out of our hands. We may have come in too late into the deal. We may be dealing with an incumbent. We may be working with someone who's got an inside track. But um, I thought I'd talk through um, what to do when you do lose a deal that you really were hoping to get. So first and foremost is to understand that we are all are going to encounter um, a defeat or a loss. And the first thing to do is put it in your mindset as temporary, as a setback. But what we need to do first and foremost is to learn from it. Um, so what we have to do first is we have to speak to the stakeholder. We have to go in and talk about why we did not get the business, what the factors were that went in, um, where did we come up short? Where did the winners come out ahead of us? So we do that kind of post-mortem um, so that we can learn and understand for the next go-round what we need to change. Um, secondly, what we have to do is then adjust wherever needed. Um, depending on where things came out short for us, whether it was um, in our pitch, whether it was perhaps asking the wrong questions, maybe not being thorough enough, maybe not connecting with the right stakeholders, decision makers, identifying the buying committee, um, not setting the buying agenda. We need to put that all together um, and be able to understand that for future reference. Um, secondly, um, and this is a little known one, we need to stay in touch with that stakeholder particularly in the first three months, we need to circle back. We need to tell them that we'd love to keep the door open um, and that we'd love to stay in touch with them because what happens many times is that um, some companies um, exaggerate what they can do in order to get the business. And uh, oftentimes the prospect is not happy with the decision they made and could be looking to make a quick change. So don't lose touch with those folks. Um, stay in contact, ask them how things are going, keep sending them blog posts, keep sending them value-focused material, and there's a good chance that perhaps you will be able to actually get that business um, and maybe within the first few months. So let's think about this process. Let's think about we, how we learn from it. Um, also, from a mindset, we just need to keep pushing forward. We need to understand that things like this happen, but we do need to be accountable. We need to take full responsibility as the salesperson, as the team leader, just like we take credit for the wins, just like we take credit for the money. We need to take credit for, not credit, but accountability for the losses. Learn from it, move forward, understand what happened, make sure it doesn't happen again, and go out there and continue to improve your sales game. Do it.